Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how you can design your own controller using Space Claim. I want you to play, pause and re-watch this section copying exactly as I do. The aim is to follow all the instructions step by step so you master all the Space Claim skills yourself. For example, sketching mode, 3D mode, pull and then sketching tools like line, spline and trim away. If you follow this tutorial, you'll be able to do all of those things independently and design your own controller. As I'm working, I'm going to be mentioning certain keys on the keyboard. Space, Control, Shift, Tab, H for Home, and Delete, not Backspace. Be aware of where those keys are. Have a quick look. The other thing to mention is at times I'll be pressing down on the scroll wheel. That's actually a button, so if you press down on the scroll wheel, uh, in combination with things like Control, if I press down on the scroll wheel, it lets me do things like Zoom. Now I'm going to quickly show you what that looks like in reality. So if I open up, um, here's a drawing I've got. Now, uh, if I click down on the, the wheel of my mouse, it lets me spin it around so I can see it in 3D. That's useful. If I hold Control, press down on my mouse wheel, I can then zoom in and out, which is a handy thing to do. And then Shift, and then the mouse wheel lets me pan it. So these are all useful things to know. And if I want to get back to the original view, I just click home all right so there's a useful thing okay uh, back to what I was discussing now if uh, we were looking at a starting size for our controller it needs to be at 150 by 120 so there's a, a rough size that I would suggest starting with okay to begin um, you need to go down to this uh, Windows icon click on that and then just type in space claim Okay, you need the most recent version, so click on 2021. Okay, when it opens up, you'll have a blank screen, something like this. Okay, this is in what we call, if I click design here, this is in sketch mode. This is like a piece of paper, a blank piece of paper we can draw on. Um, I'm going to click on sketch here and start with a rectangle. So do the same, click on rectangle, and then I want you to click once and start dragging it across. Now I suggested a an appropriate size to begin would be about 150 millimeters so I'm going to type in 150 and then tab on your keyboard tab and then 120 and then enter if I click now plan view over here and I'm just gonna pan it a bit this is an approximate size would be appropriate for a controller so um, I'm gonna start doing the outline first click on construction line Okay, and then go on your rectangle until you find uh, there's a green triangle that comes up. That's the center of that line. I'm going to click here and go directly down. doesn't matter how far you go. I'm going to click about there. And then I'm going to right click on that construction line I've just done and set as a mirror line. Now, anything I draw on the left will appear on the right and vice versa. I'm going to click on this thing called ellipse. Remember, play, pause, do as I do exactly. I'm going to click here, go across and then down a little, click again, and then go up. And I've drawn two ellipses now that fit within my rectangle. Now I'm going to click on this thing, line. Okay, click line. I'm going to go from approximately this point, go into the center. Let's go there. And I'm going to click approximately here, and I'm going to go up to there just click again there's a rough shape of a controller but I don't want these lines inside so I'm now going to click on trim away trim away allows you to delete individual sections so if I click on that I can click on this line this line and this line and now I've got an approximate outline of my controller um, these look a bit sort of pointed these intersecting points so I'm going to round them with this thing called tangent arc. So I'm going to click on tangent arc. I'm going to click up, I'm going to zoom in, holding uh, control and the mouse wheel. I'm going to click approximately here, and I'm going to go down. And what I'm looking for is two little green lines. I don't know if you can see, but there's two little green lines that pop up. That means it's a tangent arc. So if I just click there, I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to do the same at the top so if I just pan up here I'm still on tangent arc I'm going to click here and I'm going to go up looking for two little green lines there they are 
click again. Now, I don't want these internal little lines here, so I'm going to click trim away. And I'm going to delete that one and that one. I'm going to zoom out, pan down, zoom in here, trim that and that. Now, if I go home, click here or type H on the keyboard, there's the outline of my controller. I'm going to go back to plan view. I no longer need now this construction line, so I'm going to try and delete that. You might need to click design, select, click on the line and then delete. Click on this one and delete. And I don't need this rectangle, so I'm going to click on these rectangle lines and just press delete on your keyboard. I believe there's one here. Yep, yeah, there is. Delete that. Plan view, home view. There's my outline for a controller. Now I need to make that three dimensional. So the next step I'm going to do is click on this called thing called 3D mode. Click on 3D mode and then home view. And in 3D mode, it allows me to edit and pull things up in three dimensions. So I'm going to click on this thing here, pull. I'm going to click on the face. Now, before I do any further, I'm going to make sure my finger is ready on the space bar. I'm going to click and drag up on the mouse. Now, before I let go of the mouse, I'm going to click space bar. I'm going to type in the height of my controller. I'm going to go with 20 millimeters and enter. Okay. If I go back to home view, I can pan around now. I can see that I've got an approximate shape of a controller there. Okay, good. Now, I want to start adding some details, some features. So I'm going to click on the, click select, click on the top. And then I'm going to go back into sketch mode. And I'm going to do plan view again. And I'm going to add a, a joystick. So to do that, I'm going to click on the circle. I'm going to go approximately here, where my thumb would rest. And I'm going to start drawing a circle. I'm just going to type five. That'd be a five millimeter diameter upstand for the, I'm just going to pan it so you can see how it looks. I now need to pull that up. This is what the joystick is going to sit on. So if I click design and then pull, I'm going to click and drag again. Before I let go, hit spacebar. I'm going to type in five, enter. Now that's not much of a joystick. So I'm going to add the top of it. So I'm going to click on the top now. I'm going to go back into sketch mode and I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to click on circle again, find the very center of it, and then I'm going to do a bigger circle. So let's make this one, for example, uh, let's say 15 millimeters. Enter. Now I need to pull this up. I'm going to click on design and pull. Now if I clicked on that, it would just pull up the outer part. So I'm going to undo that. What I want is both bits. So I'm going to hold control and click the middle as well. And now when I pull it up, hit spacebar, I'm going to type in five again. And now if I spin it around, you'll see I've got my joystick standing up. Now the good thing with this pull tool is I can actually click on edges as well. So if I click on that edge, I can start to round it. And again, if I hit spacebar, I can choose the radius of my curve. So I'm going to go with two. I could go underneath, I could click on that line, and I could curve that up as well. Click in and drag and hit spacebar, and I click two again. Right, so there's my joystick. Okay, let's click home view. Now, if I wanted to uh, add some buttons, again, I'm going to click on the top, and then sketch mode. Um, plan view would be helpful. And I'm just going to add a few circles over here. It's automatically defaulting to five millimeters now. They might be quite small, but we can amend it later if we want. Now I want to make them 3D again, so click on design and then pull. Might need to have home view for this. I'm going to zoom in. Right now, if I clicked on this, click and drag it up, hit spacebar. I'm going to click five again. Now, let's say I want these to be the same height. If I click on that, I could go up, hit spacebar, and type 5. Or there's another way of doing it. If I click on this one, remember I've got pull selected. And then when I've hit, when I'm going up, if I click on this thing here, 
up to, the little symbol up to, click on that, and then click on the top of this, it brings it all to the same height. Again, these are buttons, so I want them to be ergonomic, I want them rounded, so I'm going to click on the edge, and I'm going to start rounding it. I'm going to make that a diameter of 1.5. Okay, the same thing here, well, it looks quite round, doesn't it? I might actually make it just one. Now, if I wanted that to be the same, I could click and drag. Or I could click on the edge and then again up to, and then I could match it against that curve. All right, so now I've got a joystick and three buttons. I want to make it a bit more ergonomic still. If I click home view, let's say this, I wanted this to be rounded. I could click and then pull that out. Let's make that, for example, 20. And likewise, let's say I want to round all these edges here. If I click on this, it selects one line. If I double click, I've selected the whole thing. Sometimes you need to double click, double click a few times. I'm going to round the whole of the top of the controller. Let's make that a radius of 5. Now if I go underneath, again I click on the bottom edge, double click, and then I'm going to round the whole bottom of the controller, hit spacebar, and 10. Let's have a look at that. Alright, so I've drawn myself a very basic, simple controller. Um, so I want you to all have a go at that yourselves. I'll be um, giving you some more challenging tasks to do later. In terms of saving, you'll go File, Save As, and I want you to save it in your own personal N drive. So here's mine. So it's this PC, and then you're looking for your name. I've made a folder called Technology. I'm going to call it Controller Practice. Okay, save that. So off you go, give that a go.